Intriguing. Okay. Um, so, cleric subclasses. A cleric subdomain is a specialization that grants your special abilities at certain cleric levels, as specified in the subclass. This section contains one the life domain. Each cleric subclass is named after a domain or existence that is favored by a god, a pantheon, or religious order. When you choose a subclass, you decide why your cleric chose that domain. Okay, cool. Life domain. The life domain focuses on the vibrant, positive energy, one of the fundamental forces of the universe that sustains all life. Cleric who tap into this domain are masters of healing, using that force of life to cure many hurts. Existence itself relies on the positive energy associated with this domain, so a cleric of any religious tradition may choose it. This domain is associated with agricultural de deities, sun gods, gods of healing or endurance, and gods of home and community. Religious orders of healing also seek the power of this domain. Cool. I am not going to remember any of that. Domain spells. All right, so this is still a thing. We're getting domain spells. Uh, you always have certain spells ready. When you reach a cleric level specified in the live domain uh, spells table, you thereafter always have the listed spells prepare, and they don't count against the number of spells you can prepare. Okay, so you get free spells, pretty much. Cool. Um, this was changed to 3, 5, 7, and 9, which is interesting. Because if I'm not mistaken, originally that didn't used to be a thing. Because originally you got your subclass at 1. So... You are getting less spells, which is interesting. Uh, life domain. Let's look at it. What they originally they threw this over. God, they really threw this down. God. Um, so first level blessing used to be blessing cure wounds. Second level used to be lesser restoration and spiritual weapon, which was changed to prayer of healing, which apparently also got changed. Fifth used to be Revivify and Beacon of Hope, is now Mass Healing Word in Revivify. Okay. Seventh used to be Death Ward and Guardian of Faith, is now Aura of Life and Death Ward. And then Raise Dead and Mass Cure Wounds was changed to Greater Restoration and Mass Cure Wounds. Okay. Um, very clearly making this a healing subclass. Right? Because I think... Yeah. Do we like Greater Restoration of a Race Dead? Yeah, we do. You probably... Eh? I don't know. Do you? Yeah, no, you do. Because here, here's the thing, right? Like, Raise Dead works as long as the creature has died in the last 10 days. And you can switch your spells on a long rest. So you pretty much just swap out Raise Dead whenever you need it, right? Because you can't use it in combat anyway. Might as well do it the day after, which I know that's a horrible thing to say, but, you know. So this is technically better. Uh, I don't know what Aura of Life do does off the top of my head. I don't know what Guardian of Faith does off the top of my head either, to be honest. Uh, I've played way too little Cleric in my life. God. I really haven't played Cleric that much. More of a wizard kind of guy. Okay. I know. Anyway. Um, but, I mean, to be fair, it's it's a fine list of spells. Um, but you are getting two less spells because you're not getting the level... You're Because these are also second level spells. You're not getting any free first level spells. Which is kind of weird, I guess. Well, it's not weird. But, yeah. You're, you're getting second, third, fourth, and fifth level spells. Huh. Yeah, okay. Um, so, originally, as we all know, this was now changed to Holy Order, but originally Life Domain did get proficiency with Heavy Armor. Um, and then here, third level, Disciple of Life. Your healing spells are empowered by life itself. When a spell you cast with a spell slot restores hit points, that creature regains additional hit points on the turn you cast a spell. Additional hit points equal 2 plus the spell's level. Uh, that is exactly the same as the level 1 Disciple of Life of Life Domain. So they just moved it to level 3. Alright. Sixth level, Preserve Life. You can use your channel divinity to heal a group of critically injured. As an action, you can expend one use of your channel divinity, present your holy symbol, restoring a number of hit points equal to 5 times your cleric level, choose any creature within 30 feet of you, you can choose yourself, and divide those hit points amongst the chosen creature. Uh, this feature can bring 
a creature's current hit points to no more than half its hit point maximum. Excuse me? Oh no, that was that was originally also a thing. Okay, so this is um this used to be the second level channel divinity that Life Domain got. Um so you know it's it's also the exact same name. So they just again moved it to six. Um so pretty much their one became their three, their three became their six. I can already see that their six became their ten. Uh, did they did they do anything else with it? It's funny because the original effect used to say you can't use this feature on an undead or a construct, which doesn't it doesn't say here. But I think doesn't it state that an undead and construct itself that it just they can't be healed or something? But yeah. Um, so this is just, this is just pretty much the, the two has been moved, their level two has been moved to six. Okay. Then ten, Blessed Healer. Um, beginning at sixth level, the healing spells you cast on others heal you as well. When you cast a spell with the spell slots on another creature that restores hit points to it, you regain hit points equal to two plus the spell's level on the turn you cast the spell. Yeah, so that's exactly the same as the level 6. Okay. So they moved 1 to 3, 2 to 6, and 6 to 10. Okay. And then originally... Originally, Life Domain also got Divine Strike at 8, but that's just a General Cleric ability at 7 now. General Cleric. Um... And then their 17 was apparently moved to 14. Supreme Healing. When you would normally roll one or more dice to restore hit points to a creature with a spell slot that you cast with a... Oh, God. When you would normally roll one or more dice to restore hit points to a creature with a spell that you cast with a spell slot, don't roll those dice for healing. Instead, use the highest number possible for each die. For example, instead of restoring 2d6 hit points with a spell, you restore 12. Uh, which is exactly the same as the level 17 Supreme Healing. So they pretty much just moved around the spell. So Life Domain really hasn't changed. Pretty much Cleric just became more powerful because instead of having to pick Life or War Domain for Heavy Armor, you can now choose to pick it at level 2. Or you can get an extra use of your Channel Divinity and an extra Cantrip. Or you can get more, you know, powerful... Uh, or, uh, sorry, uh, more knowledge, pretty much, because you get, like, two proficiencies and shit. Um, I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's a little boring, but other than that, I think life in and of itself has always been one of the less interesting subclasses to me. The only reason I used to pick life was because of the heavy armor. Um... Personally, at least. Um, which, I, I'm not saying this is a bad subclass. It definitely isn't. I think it's a pretty decent subclass. Um, that's slightly boring, though. Okay. I mean, they got slightly nerfed with this, but... Can you really call this a nerf? You miss out on two spells. It's like, ooh. Eh, oh, well. Alright. Uh, I think that's it for the subclass, right? 